And we return to the story of Diego Ortiz with some brilliant news. He has won the Player of the Month for the month of December. And you know what that means. That means we're heading over to Twitter. Another one, hashtag DJ Khaled, hashtag Player of the Month. And there we go, there's a new card for Foot. 91 rated, 92 pace, 90 shooting, 86 passing, 88 dribbling, 40 defending and 83 physical. Top quality card. Probably set you back a couple million coins on an SBC as we move into the first game of the episode, match day 18. Borussia Munchen Gladbach. I think this is the only game in December because there is a winter break in Germany, but what a volley that is. 44 minutes into the game. First time volley from the Sancho corner, and it's just a sweet connection. Really nice connection. Flies past everyone. First shot of the game, first goal of the game, 1 0. And we head into the break with the lead. Just coming out of the break though, five minutes after, the ball is about to be whipped across by Lopez. As he puts one to the back post to us, we get caught up, we fall, and we fall badly, and we stay down. And well, it's not good, not a good sign, as we will be forced off with this injury. And this is the first time we've actually been forced off with an injury. It's not too, not too good, but we've broken our toe. And we will be out for two months. That's a whole lot of football we're missing. A whole lot of football we're missing. We've got to sim all the way through January. We've missed this derby. We won it 2-1 though. The man that's coming in to replace us is Alcacer. But then we go to Wolfsburg. And we look to beat them. We do get a 1-1 draw. Lopez getting the goal for us. In the Europa League, we've got Braga in the next first knockout round. Draw 1-1 with them in the first leg. Isaac getting the goal. And when you're injured, there's not much you can do. You can see here he's lounging about in his pyjamas, walking around his house. He's not got much to do. Diego Ortiz, he's bored. You can see it's been four games and he's already bored. He loves football. This man loves football. He lives for football. Not much else interests him. You can see here, it's early, early evening. He's got his pyjamas on. He's just going to watch TV for the rest of the evening. And that's, that's no way you want to be spending the peak peak years of your career. He's 22 years old, you know, he wants to be playing football. And I guess it's an early light for Ortiz. Because there is nothing you can do. Or a broken toe as well. It's a little, it's a small injury. But for a footballer, it means a lot. You know, you've got to keep your foot rested, heal it up. And maybe one day, maybe soon... We can get back on to some training, maybe some light training. But we go back to the results. This was a 1-1 draw against Leipzig. Kago are getting the goal for us. Braga in the second leg. This is the home leg. A 1-0 victory. Alcacer with a goal in the 18th minute. Frankfurt in the league. And this one was going to be a 1-0 victory. Ilaramendi with the goal. At the exact same time as Lustenberger got a red card. Or a second yellow. Stuttgart in the league. This was a 3-1 victory. As of right now, our replacements are not doing too good. But returning back to the Europa League, we drew Lazio. And we got a 2-0 victory. Lopez and Royce getting the goals. And well, during this little period, Dortmund sent us to America to do some hot training. To get us back into kind of fitness. At this point, we can jog on the foot. We can't sprint. We can't kick a ball just yet. But we can jog. Um, swimming. It's a good way to get fit and healthy again without really needing to use your foot too much. It's, it's your legs, you know, it's your legs and your arms. So yeah, they sent him to America just for some heat training. And his trainer told him to just go down to the lake and have a little swim. You can see the set of stairs there, an almighty set of stairs. But it's a really nice lake, nice day in America. It's just about to be spring, so it's nice, nice weather. And you can see there, he's got a little jog on as he, boom, swan dives into the pool. And just having a little swim, getting the fitness back up. And we will soon be back from our injury, or about halfway through, I'd say. So, not too bad. As we said, we can jog, we can't run or kick a ball yet. But soon, Ortiz will be back on the pitch. I can tell you that. As we return to Bundesliga action, we're taking on Union Berlin. Alcacer has scored, and it is a 3-0 victory. Isaac also got a goal in this one. Back to Lazio with 2-0 up in this tie already. Hakimi makes it 3, and it's a 3-1 victory on aggregate. Hanover 
is the next team we play. This one is going to be a 2-2 draw. Alguisa gets another goal. Mainz. This one is another away game. And a 1-0 loss. And finally, Hoffenheim. This is the last game that we have. It's a 4-0 victory. Alguisa again scores a goal. But we may be back from injury. We have to earn our way back into the squad. We're going to the training centre here just to reevaluate our injury. And hopefully they've got some good news for us. We've gone the night before the game just to see what they have to say to us. Hopefully we can get back into the squad. Hopefully we can play again. And well, it's some brilliant, brilliant news because Diego Ortiz is fit enough to play matches and he's back in the starting 11. Isaac and Alcacer did not impress enough and we're back in the starting lineup. You can see here we, might, we missed 10 games. It's match day 28 right now. So a big injury and a very hectic part of the season. Four minutes into the game though. Ortiz plays the ball through to Witzel. Witzel plays it through to Sancho. Sancho with an easy little finish. 1-0 away from home against Cologne. A newly promoted side who we should be beating anyway. They're not the best of quality. But it's a good game for Ortiz to come back into. Not the best team, but six minutes in. De Paul loops one over. Kynes wins the header down to Schaub. Schaub to Wolf. Wolf hits it on the first time, hits the post. Falls politely back to him. And he makes it 1 1. Seven minutes into the game. This is going to be a fine goal scoring feast. As nine minutes into the game, Ortiz receives the ball. Plays it down to Marco Royce. Marco Royce to Witzel. Witzel to Ortiz. Ortiz out wide to Sancho. Back across to Ortiz. Heads it. And it's a nice header on target, but. Nowhere near enough power on that one. Half an hour in. Rousselon finds Ilormendi. Ilormendi finds Sancho. Sancho finds Witzel. Just nice passing around the midfield. Royce is found. He plays it through to Ortiz. Down to Ilormendi. To Royce. Through. That's a brilliant through ball to Ortiz. And he just lays it off. Very nice late for Sancho. And 32 minutes into the game. It is 2-1. Dortmund restore their lead. Two goals for Sancho. And an assist. For Ortiz on his return to Bundesliga action. Not too bad. But just before half time, Wolf receives the ball. He plays it to De Paul, the Argentinian teammate. He whips it across to Modeste. And why would his Argentinian teammate do that to him? It's 2 2. Modeste makes it 2 2. That shouldn't be like this. We should be winning this game easily. But Ortiz has a chance here as he's played through. Sancho decides not to go for it. Doesn't think he's ready. Delaney whips one across. Royce gets on the end of it. And the game ends as a 2-2 draw. The 8.6 rating for Diego Ortiz. One assist. And it's just not the best of games. Maybe the injury. Maybe it's harnessed. Ha hindered him, sorry. Not harnessed him. Hindered him. As we move into the game against Rayo Batiste. Hoping to get a better performance. Hoping to actually get a goal in this one. 61 minutes into the game. The ball's played short to Tello. Shot is blocked. Tried again. Royce is going to win the header. Only as far as Buda Boos. His touch is quite poor, actually. And Royce can find Ortiz. He's got four men to get past. And he gets past one of them nicely. Plays it out wide to Sancho. Sancho plays it first time through. He's got the pace over Nastasic, Sydney, and Bartra. And he strikes it past Paolo Lopez to put the team 1-0 up. And that is his first goal since returning to injury. Showing he hasn't missed a beat. Still got the pace. Still got the strength. Still got the finishing. 76 minutes into the game though. Sarabia out wide. Whips one across to Caleri. He ducks and actually falls into the path of Tello. Who tucks it home. And that, that duck is what made that go in. Definitely. Because the keeper was probably prepared for the header by Caleri. But he just ducks out the way and lets Tello strike it in. As we move into the final game of the episode. We're taking on Hamburger in the league. 46 minutes into the game. Right from kickoff pretty much. Witzel plays the ball out wide to Sancho. And they're just playing it around the midfield, you know, just trying to find some spaces. Obviously, Ortiz is trying to receive the ball. No one's really passing it to him. But Kagawa plays the ball through to Lopez. Lopez is going to play one across. And Ortiz just taps it in. It's a lovely little finish. A lovely run. That's how the game's going to end. And a 1-0 victory. That is pretty much the only major chance of the game. And it's Ortiz getting the goal. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please like, subscribe. And... Peace. 86 rated, not too bad.